Brett, it has always been you. From the time I was a little girl, I prayed for you. I prayed each day that God would protect you and guide you and bring you to me in his timing. I'm so blessed that he allowed our paths to cross in high school, and now I'm even more blessed that I get to share the rest of my life with my high school sweetheart. These last seven, almost eight years with you have been filled with so much happiness, love, adventure, and growth. I want you to know that I will always choose us. As your wife, I promise to always stand by your side and sleep in your arms. I promise to laugh with you in moments of joy and be your comfort in moments of sadness. I will share and support your dreams and always challenge you to be the best person you can be. I promise to listen to your thoughts and find new ways to learn from you and support you. I promise to always be your biggest fan and I will never turn down an ice cream date. <laughs> I vow to not just grow old together, but to grow together. Our marriage is my priority, and I will always seek new ways to make you feel loved and appreciated. I promise to always put you second and keep God first in our relationship. I will always love you through the good and the bad. I can't promise to love you perfectly, but I will love you faithfully and with everything I have. I love your gentle spirit and your positive outlook on life. Your happiness and smile is contagious, and it makes my world spin. You're so talented and so driven, and I admire all that you do. You have given me everything I've dreamed of since I was a little girl. Most importantly, you make me feel safe and so incredibly loved. Seven years later and you still give me butterflies. I'm so proud to be your wife and create a beautiful life with you. Our wedding day is so special, but what is even more special to me is the marriage that I get to share with you after this day. One of the best things I've ever done in my life was give my heart to you. Your heart is my home and you will forever be my groom. I love you more, Brad Floyd. I can't wait to make you my husband. I stand here today thankful to have met you at the young age of just 16. The past almost eight years of loving you have been the best and most memorable years of my life. From high school football games and proms to long distance relationships in college and now discussions of buying houses and the number of children we're going to have. I have learned so much about you through all of this. You love like I have never seen before. You commit to your goals as if your life depended on it. And you make logical decisions that always align to your values. The decision you made to marry me, I promise, will be the most impactful decision of your life. Today, as we agree to spending the rest of our lives together, I want you to know what I'm promising. So, by saying I do today, this means I promise to invest my love, my time, and my energy into creating the greatest life for us. I promise to always listen, offer advice, and fully support anything and everything you do. I promise to approach our disagreements with an open mind and promise not to walk away until you see that I am always right. <laughs> uh, I promise to cherish the time when we are together and care for you when you are in need. Lastly, I promise to keep our life interesting and fill it full of memories that will never be forgotten. I will never stop loving you. I, Brett, I, Brett, take thee, Brooke, take thee, Brooke, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Brooke, will you repeat after me? I Brooke. I Brooke. Take thee breath. Take thee breath. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To 
have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Upon the union of our hands. Upon the union of our hands. And our hearts. And our hearts. I pray the blessing. I pray the blessing. Of Almighty God. Of Almighty God. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Upon the union of our hands. Upon the union of our hands. And our hearts. And our hearts. I pray the blessing. I pray the blessing. Of Almighty God. Of Almighty God. I now pronounce that they are man and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may kiss your bride. And now it's my honor and privilege to present for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Brett. I'm so thankful you found someone as special as Brett. Brett, all third willing jokes aside, I really have gotten the opportunity to watch you two grow together the last couple of years. And just seeing the way you are together and how you treat her just puts me at ease because I know she has someone that treats her the way she deserves. I'm in so, I am so incredibly happy for the two of you and the three of us are going to share a very long and happy life together. <laughs> I love you both. Congratulations. Cheers to the bride and groom. <laughs> oh, I just want to say I'm so happy for the both of you. You truly are Brett's other half. You give him happiness and that's all I can ask for, so thank you. Uh, the only thing I ask from you both is that when you purchase a house, make sure it is big enough to store at least three of my cars. Mom and Dad are going to kick me out if I take up another driveway spot. <laughs> but uh, I guess that's the end of everything. I would like everybody to raise their glasses and join me in wishing the newly pronounced Mr. and Mrs. Floyd all the wealth, health, and happiness in the world to Mr. and Mrs. Floyd.